I say tomato, you say tomato. I say caprese, you say caprese, caprese. However you pronounce it, the combination of tomato, basil, and fresh mozzarella, especially this time of the year, is absolutely delicious. So what we're going to do in this episode is look at all those kind of normal ingredients, combine them in different ways, whether it's a classic presentation, kind of like a salsa, or something a little like gourmet and dressed up, and just kind of give you a different uh, kind of way to look at it through method cooking to come up with some new ideas. We're going to start with the classic caprese salad, which is garden fresh tomatoes, some fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, some oil, some salt, and some pepper. With the classic caprese salad, it's just a fresh tomato sliced a little thicker than you would want for probably like a burger. And we're going to shingle that out. One of those. Bring over the fresh mozzarella. A lot of them you can buy are already pre-sliced, so you can just kind of pop off a couple of those. So go tomato, mozzarella, other slice, tomato. Pull that off to the side, and then with the fresh basil, pick a few leaves, come over the top of that, and just kind of like a rough chop. We don't want to really dress the basil in the balsamic vinegar and oil, so I've actually got balsamic vinegar in like a spray bottle. You can just use like the regular stuff, but a couple squirts of that. Do a drizzle of oil, a little pinch of salt, and then maybe just like one, two cracks of black pepper. Top it with that chopped basil, and there's your classic caprese salad. Round two caprese salad, more of kind of like a foodie culinary twist. We're gonna use some toasted French bread, top with the same fresh mozzarella, but instead of using fresh tomatoes and basil, we're going to use some of the sun-dried tomatoes from a previous episode as well as some of the pesto from another previous episode to kind of class it up and give it that uh, kind of fancy gourmet look. French bread toasted with a little bit of oil and a little bit of butter, probably medium high, high heat. So we've got those down. We're going to bring over some of that fresh mozzarella. Split that in half. It's going to go on top of the bread. To cover that, like I said, some of the sun-dried tomatoes. From a previous episode, so though they're not like fresh out of the garden, it's the same idea and a lot of the same flavor. On top of those, instead of using fresh basil, we're gonna use some of that pesto that we had made in the past. So again, same flavor, different texture, different look. Sprinkle that with just a little bit of salt, and then once we put that on, center that up got a little bit of a balsamic glaze. You can either buy it from the store or make it yourself by reducing balsamic vinegar. And round three on tonight's tomato, basil, fresh mozzarella extravaganza, uh, we're gonna kind of make like a salsa. So if you were doing like a big group and didn't have time to do all the individual plates, just make a bowl of it, all the same flavors, all the same textures, but that people would just kind of scoop out and eat at their ease. So with this kind of caprese salsa, we're going to go back to the fresh tomatoes. Everything can just kind of be rough chopped, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to chop the tomatoes, chop the mozzarella, chop up the basil, toss it in a small bowl with some of the uh, olive oil and some of the balsamic vinegar. Mix it all together, throw in some fresh basil, get it on the plate, and then we are ready to go. Now onto the fresh mozzarella, just kind of a small dice. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it, it's delicious. Just chopped up, scooped up into the bowl with the tomatoes. The last fresh ingredient is the basil. You want to kind of hold the stem, grab right below the leaf and pick it off. There's a lot of flavor in the stems, but not typically something you want to chew on and eat. Make a small pile of those. And again, the beauty of salsa is nothing has to be perfect. So you just kind of roughly chop it, or uh, chiffonade if you're in the, uh, the culinary world. Then we're going to get that into the bowl with the tomatoes and the cheese. Add in a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and we're ready to go into the bowl. Again, the vinegar I've got here, balsamic vinegar has a little spray on it. Yours doesn't have to. Just do the same kind of amount, like, I don't know, almost a flavor whether it's drips or drops. A little bit of that, a little bit of oil, do a pinch of salt, maybe a crack or two of pepper. Once that's in, 
mix it around a little bit. This isn't something you want to make ahead of time because that vinegar is going to start breaking down the cheese and you're going to end up with kind of a gloppy mess. But since we're doing it right now, we'll get the bowl ready. Scoop this caprese salsa into the bowl, get it on the plate, and then it is about ready to serve. So at the end of it, we've got what I'll call the three-way caprese. We've got kind of a caprese uh, salsa, tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, fresh basil, olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, all chopped up and tossed together with some bread. We've got kind of like a gourmet version with some toasted French bread, some pesto that we made in a previous episode, some sun-dried tomatoes we made in a previous episode, fresh mozzarella and a drizzle of a balsamic glaze. And then on the other side, we've got kind of that classic caprese that you'll see all over the place, which is fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, fresh basil, a little bit of oil, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. As always, thanks for tuning in, watching the videos, and checking it out. Another great episode with a lot of fun. Any feedback, comments, or suggestions, I'm totally open for them, and would love your ideas. Uh, check out method-cooking.com for what else is coming up and what else is going on. And as always, stay cooking. Way with a little bubs popping in in the middle of a video. We're going to start with a classic caprese salad, which is just like garden fresh tomatoes, some fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, a little bit of olive oil.